So I'd like to talk to you about the impact of anti-trans rhetoric on mental health and well-being, on my mental health and well-being. Every day I wake up and I experience toxicity in the media, on the television. I see the papers, I go on my phone, I get Apple, Apple News, I scroll up and there's at least one anti-trans article that I experience just casually browsing the news. I often say inclusion is how you make me feel by how you treat me. For me, inclusion is a feeling. I feel under threat. I feel marginalised. I feel excluded. I feel bullied by the media. I feel bullied by my government. Trans people have become the political football of this decade. The Tory leadership competition or contest, maybe a competition. It was a race to see who could be the most transphobic. The rhetoric that came out, the debates on television around trans people. Scotland voted and passed the gender reform, gender recognition reform uh, bill. And the government, our government blocked that with section 35. We're now seeing negative press equating trans people as rapists, trans people as sexual predators, trans people as being unworthy. We see this play that in the media, we see it play that in, around sports, we see it play that around prisons, and we're a threat to women and children. We, are we? 